The Hawk Moon Exotic Hand Cannon released a few days ago to lukewarm reception from the community. Personally, as someone who doesn't really use hand cannons much, I really like it. The stat distribution makes this thing feel really good, especially on console. Now in Crucible, Hawk Moon is fun, but what if I was to tell you that where you should be using it is in Nightfall Strikes? The exotic perk on Hawkmoon is Paracausal Shot. Final blows and precision hits with Hawkmoon grant stacks of Paracausal Charge. The final round in the magazine deals bonus damage based on the number of stacks. Stowing Hawkmoon on the final round removes this bonus, so the name of the game is to get as many precision hits as possible to get that high damage on the final round. But for smaller enemies that you can kill with one shot, you don't have to worry as much about precision kills because final blows will also give you Paracausal Charge. Now as of recording this, we don't have access to the random perks yet, but once they come out, this gun will get even better. Now if you hadn't guessed already, the exotic armor is the Celestial Nighthawk with the perk Hawkeye Hack. Modifies Golden Gun to fire a single high damage shot. Enemies eliminated by the shot explode and grant you super energy. A quick side note for Crucible. If you're crazy enough to take Celestial Nighthawk into PvP, your Golden Gun shot will do enough damage to pop a Titan bubble along with the Titan inside the bubble. Run these together with the Bottom Tree Gunslinger, and you have a champion killing machine. Each precision hit reduces the cooldown of Golden Gun, and each precision kill grants bonus weapon stability and handling. Line em up also enables precision damage on the Golden Gun, which when used with Celestial Nighthawk will do absolutely insane amounts of damage. Back before Bungie updated how the damage numbers were displayed, this combo would just give 999999 for its damage numbers. Then, if you want to make the Hawk Moon more like its original Destiny 1 version, you can use Charge with Light mods. To gain charges of light, I use the Empowered Finish, which uses one tenth of your super to gain a charge of light when you perform a finisher. We can also become Charge with Light with Precision Charge, where rapidly defeating combatants with hand cannon precision hits gives us a charge of light. Then to use these charges of light is High Energy Fire. Each defeated combatant consumes one stack of light. So essentially, this will give us the old luck in the chamber perk where random bullets in the magazine would do more damage. And this bonus damage from high energy fire actually does stack with the bonus damage from the final round of Hawkmoon. With a charge of light and six stacks of paracausal shot, it does 42,000 damage. But with the same setup and no charge of light, it only does 35,000 damage. Then for some added utility, I like to use radiant light and powerful friends. Both will make your allies become charged with light, but more importantly, when used together, they give you a plus 20 to mobility and strength stats. When you use the Unstoppable Hand Cannon mod from the Seasonal Artifact, it allows Hawkmoon to stagger Unstoppable Champions, and with many of the Unstoppable Champions having large hitboxes for the critical areas, it becomes rather easy to efficiently take them down with Hawkmoon. For Overload Champions, you can use the Thermal Overload mod so your Solar Grenades stagger them, and when used in conjunction with Surge Eater, every time you stagger a champion with your grenade, you'll instantly get back that grenade energy. And for Barrier Champions, just hit them with the Celestial Nighthawk Golden Gun. It's an instant delete button for them, and will generate a ton of orbs for your allies. Just keep getting precision kills, and your super will come back very quickly. Overall, I've been having a lot of fun with this build in Nightfall Strikes. If you're running through them with friends that are running Charge with Light builds, this can help them to stay charged with light more often. It even works pretty well in Crucible, and I'll be making a separate video on that. Thanks for watching, and stay safe out there.